Hello everyone, Matthew and Way here. In this video, I'll be reviewing and analyzing Hawkeye Season 1, Episode 6, which is currently on Disney+. Plus. I have been impressed how good Marvel has done this series and how they ended the season finale. It has met all my expectations. If you've not watched any of my other Season 1 reviews and breakdowns, then I would consider doing so. I will leave a link to two playlists for these Season 1 Reviews, which is called Marvel Studios Hawkeye Season 1 Reviews and Breakdowns, and Disney Plus, which is, I only have done the Hawkeye series for the Disney Plus original series of movies at the bottom of this video in the description below. I will also leave a separate link to each video if you do not want to watch the playlist at the bottom of this video in the description below. I will now go over several topics that I saw and point out several Easter eggs that I saw. In the beginning of this episode, we see Kingpin coming out with his walking suit. And yes, it looks like the stick in the comics, and it meets with Eleanor Bishop, which the meeting was revealed to us at the end of the last episode. I know this because when I was first introduced to the character Kingpin, it was in the 1990s Spider-Man cartoon show. The stick looks exactly like that one did in that series. As we all know, we saw the reveal of Kingpin at the end of the last episode, and I told you in my last review of this series that I knew that this led us to Kingpin is the word Fat Man, which also was mentioned in the 1990s Spider-Man cartoon show as well. Kingpin, whose real name is Wilson Fisk, is being played by none other than the actor who played him in the Marvel Netflix series, Vincent D'Onofrio. Vincent is a dead ringer for Kingpin. He looks exactly like me. Trust me, I am right in this. I like the fact that Kingpin is wearing his traditional white business suit you see him wear in the comics. I am quite aware that Kingpin is known to wear white. Kingpin is a big and imposing man, and you do not want to mess with him. The reason I say this is as he was in Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse. He killed Spider-Man in that movie. That is why I say you do not want to mess with him. In the 1990s Spider-Man cartoon show, Norman Osborn tried to kill him by using the hobgoblin to kill him. But he failed, and Kingpin went after him, saying he wanted his inventions. Kingpin is ruthless, and will not take it lightly if you dare cross him. He is a crime boss, and crime bosses want people to think there is only one way. You serve them, or they hurt you by killing you or taking everything that you have. I say this because Eleanor Bishop thinks she can just leave him in this life because she says she can no longer do this. She decides it is time to draw a line. Maya comes in later and tells him with Kazi present that she needs time to clear her head. Kingpin is cross, to say the least, and wants to remind people that they cannot walk out like they work at Goldman Sachs. He wants people to remember that this city belongs to him. True to his care that he is ruthless and will hurt you if you dare to cross him. He does not like there is an Avenger lurking around and poking his head in his business. He tells Kazi, what are we going to do about this? This tells me he wants Kazi to kill both Eleanor and Maya as well as Clint and Kate. Kate Bishop, who was with Clint Barton at the time when they watched that video of Elena showing Kate that her mother was with the Kingpin. Kate is having a hard time believing that her mother can be involved with someone like Kingpin and working for the mob. Kate wants to convert her mother. Clint tells Kate that this will not end well and that Kingpin will go after her mother. He knows... This because, as we saw in the last episode, Clint told his wife, Laura, to keep herself and their kids safe. As I told you before, Kingpin is ruthless and can crush you figuratively and literally. I know this because this is a line from the 1990s Spider-Man cartoon show. Only 2% of my body fat is fat. The rest of, the, of it is 350 pounds of muscle. This is why I say you can crush someone apart literally. Kate says to Clint, this is n not your problem. You can go back home. Clint tells her, you're my partner and your problems are my problems. I will stay until this is done. Clint tells Kate, I have your back. We all know that Kate has his and will to the end. When you have a partner, you understand you, that you protect each other and that is an equal relationship. Partner means partner. There is no boss. You work as one unit. Clint tells Kate they can make more trick girls. Kate says, you can make more? No way. When Clint was making his trip arrows, we see the worst start, which tells me that he got help from Stark Industries to make his gear. This makes sense to me since he and Tony Stark were part of the Avengers and that he would have access to his gear like he did to pen particles like he did in the third episode of this se series. 
We see magnetic arrows and we see Clint asking Kate for the pepper spray to put in one. Clint asks Kate if she is ready. Kate tells him she is ready because the day of the Battle of New York, we know from seeing the first episode of this series that Kate sees Clint fighting nothing with a stick and a bunch of arrows and he jumped in the air with no flying suit or any special gear. She says that helped her not to be as scared. Kate, Kate tells Clint that she is ready and she will do whatever it takes to do what is right. This question was being asked as they are leaving the apartment to go to the holiday party. Kate confronts her mother and asks her how could she do this in working for the Kingpin. Her mother tells her that her father owed quite a bit of money to that monster. We found out that Eleanor killed him on and framed Jack for it and hired Lena to kill Clint. This is true to the comments as Kate's parents did not always make the best of decisions. Her mother claims this is how the real war works and there is no other way when in fact there is always a choice. What I can tell you is I like Kate wearing her traditional costume like in the comics. Clint is wearing the one he wears now in the comics. He has the hawk and purple design on the shirt and the rest of the shirt is in black. It is definitely a dad reader in terms of the costume. Trust me that I am right in this. There's a buddy scene when Kate shoots the arrow at a trusted bro moving truck. It shrinks down like you would see in Ant-Man and the truck got picked up by the owl that was in the Christmas tree with Clint. Kate asks what happened. Clint says I would have to ask Scott about that one. I will not spoil the ending, but I can tell you that it brings us to the climax of this series. The last battle at the end of this episode is epic, and you will not be disappointed in it as it has twists in it. We do get to the conclusion into why Lena was after Clint. We also get to Maya, aka Echo, becoming the hero that she is meant to become. What I can say is that Kate fights Kingpin at the end, but... All I can tell you that it is not easy task going against him like I told you. I give this episode a 10 and 10 rating. I thought it was well done and it was very true to the comics. Marvel Studios has done a good job with this series and I hope they consider doing a season 2 of this series. I know this. If they do, I will watch it. I promise you that. FYI, I will be uploading videos on YouTube one to two times a week. This will be my schedule from here on out. I had to figure out what I want to do and how often I want to do it. I want to be focused more on the quality, not the quantity of my videos. I do not want to burn out as I am for this in the long haul, not the short haul. With only 11 subscribers, I'm a long way of being monetized on YouTube. I need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in order to be monetized on YouTube. So please consider becoming a subscriber. Please consider hitting the like button as it helps me to get more people to watch this video or any video that is on my channel. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe my channel. Please hit the notification bell to be notified of any future videos that come on the channel. Please let me know what books, movies, or TV shows you'd like me to review next in the comment section below. Please share this video to your friends so my channel can grow. Thank you and have a wonderful day.